Have you collected those materials yet? We have, yes! Did you know your lander can do huge jumps? Yes. We didn't. Until we did. That was a fun day. How many died? Also, very sad. Boom. Anyways, we put the materials in a pile over there beside our capital city. Fair warning, there may also be some mowlings in the pile. Oh dear. Cool. Could you also assemble those for us? Building hospitals sounds tough. And Jeff doesn't like us using tools. You show the mailings how to build a hospital. Interestingly, they're fast learners. We did it! And with only 126 casualties. Oh, Christ. Holy crap. That is way less than during our last attempt to build a hospital. You should talk to Jeff now. He wanted to talk to you once we got this hospital up and running. Okay. Uh, Jeff. What the hell did you leave me with? Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Where are you, Jeff? Ah, there you are, Jeff. Hello, still Jeff. We help the Mallings build. I saw you are a trained god no longer. I'll admit, I have been dealing with fewer and fewer calamities here every day. Explosions are at all time lows. Implosions remain troublingly common, but even they're getting less frequent. I think it might be time to go. I think. They need to find their own way, Jeff. Jeff, they're not pets. I know. I'm going to tell the Mowlings to enter into your little alliance. It will be useful for them if they get out there and start making new friends. But before I go, there is one thing you need to know about. The Mowlings are not dumb. All the technology they have... They invented it themselves, probably faster than you did. Four hundred years ago, the Maolings were living in caves, drawing with sticks and eating rocks. They've grown up remarkably quickly, wouldn't you say? It's something I've seen before. Accident-prone species with high birth rates. The process of natural selection works quickly on them. In another hundred years or so, the Mowlings might be the equivalent of gods themselves. Accident-prone gods. Yes, very accident-prone. I mean, when you have hundreds of uh, people willing to just simply die over the dumbest things, the survivors learn, don't do that again. Kind of. Wouldn't they get less accidental-prone with time? That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Great distance, yes, it will look hilarious. Up close, it will look a little more calamitous. Why wouldn't they get less accident prone with time? That doesn't seem to be how it works. Being accident prone is bad for the individual, but not for the species. It's such an enormous evolutionary advantage that I wonder if it's entirely natural. You think someone tampered with them? It wouldn't be the strangest thing I've ever seen. It's a weird universe. Uh, is that why you wanted us to take over for you? You're smart. Yes, the Maolings are one of the few species in the galaxy who could ever one day injure me. Which I would like to avoid. I feel bad seeing them die all the time. But once I understood them for what they were, I knew I would need to leave them behind. Okay, is it safe for us to be around them? Understand that this is a small risk. Most species like this tend to ascend to a higher dimension before they do too much damage. My suggestion? Be a nice god for them. Keep them alive. It slows down the process and will at least keep you on their good side. Once they figure out Enfield Tech, though, 
you might want to keep your distance. What's in field tech? It's a fun one. You'll like it. But this is far off in your future. In the meantime, they aren't much danger to anyone but themselves. Which brings us to the Alliance. As you can probably guess, alone in combat, Malin ships are... They try really hard. Right. I sometimes help them out a bit here and there. If it's okay with you, I'll leave behind a clone of my defense platform, autonomously slave to their prayer control units. Uh, you leave behind as many weapons platforms as you want. I thought you'd say that. Well, I'm off. Try not to use them for evil humans. Gluttonous eyes the Xeraxi told us about. We did not give it a name. But the description fits. There are realms above and below this one. An infinite number of parallel universes. Some are almost identical to this one. Most, though, are filled with things unknowable to our minds. Things that are hungry. We awakened those beings, or drew their attention to our reality. And when they arrived, they did something to the Xeraki. Bella. Hey Fred, how you doing? So, they corrupted the Exeraki to prepare this universe for their arrival. Where before they had been simple, thoughtful creatures, the Exeraki were transformed into mindless, slavering beasts. We are not entirely sure how the corruption spread. But soon, Exeraki everywhere in the Empire began to change. Many of those Exeraki were stationed on our ships. Within a year, we had lost nearly half of our fleet to the demons. And so on, they turned to war. Billions of souls were lost. Scribe and ward species alike. You got a BOFA. Do I want some? I 
Uh, I know he's leading me on to ask. Uh, and there it is. <sighs> Bad Fred. Okay. How did you stop them? At great cost, we pushed them back to their world, to the origin where this evil stems from, and we closed it. We vowed never to open such a door again, and to prevent any of our simple-minded wards from doing the same. Peace reigned. For thousands of years, order persevered. Though, we always knew it would not last. When we stopped our research into the origins, we left behind devices. Alarms, if you will. Alarms which began going off a few decades ago. We see it clearly now. The Atraki sits forerunners lurking in the shadows, preparing to open the origin again. They have had thousands of years to prepare, or longer. Who knows how time works for those beings? We are doomed. I, I prefer cashews. Or almonds. Uh, we can stop this if we work together. Yes. Excellent. Piss and arch your back, humans. You have survived on the interstellar stage for entire months now. Well done. You have no idea what you have unleashed. You may consider it a mercy to die by our hands rather than the Atrakis. Uh, yes I did, Fred. This is the system the Pinty told Bella. us about, Captain. There's a scribe weapons Bella. facility somewhere here, and a whole lot of ships guarding it. You do not belong here. This is the heart of the scribe empire. You defiant your mere presence. There's a lot of ways we can battle this place. We've come to stop you from slaughtering the... We've come to slaughter the... How do you know? So you know about the tools we are developing here. You mean weapons? We didn't until you just mentioned it. Very cheap. Not that it matters. Because you will get nowhere near them. It is our job to end the attack. One second. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Oh, come on. It was in the early season of Dragon Ball Z. It's an old joke. We'll try some nobody's heard of before. You already messed up killing him once. Well, oh, we've killed you, many of you. Posted here alongside us. No more. 
It's what you're doing, wasn't it? Do not answer that. I could not bear to hear another of your lies. We will pick the truth from the bones of your ship's hull. You should have fled when you had that new now. That was close. I need to get my ship repaired. Damn it. Okay, let's try using you for now. Yes, go in the fart clouds. Damn. Oh well. He's almost dead, so we're gonna fight. like there's anything. Oh, it, it's there. There we go. Okay, what we got on here? Unidentified structure. Ooh. 
Okay, I got seven of them left. That's fine. Six. Five. Four. We'll, we'll leave. Replace the people that died from my poor life decisions and then try again. As long as I have people running this ship, it won't explode. And this and that's all that really matters. I mean, sure, I could have a heart and potentially mourn the losses of all the people that die under my command, but they are infinite. It is an infinite resource. Okay, let's recharge. You're the last one. You're the last survivor. Not for long. Okay, Fred. I'm afraid to ask, but what exactly did I ask for? Okay. Now for whatever the hell's here. We've entered the weapons lab, Captain. Minimal resistance so far. Here's the inner labs. There, in the bright orange petri dish. And the one that's talking. That's gotta be the new Pinthi culture. We'll take it now. Put on your gloves, for God's sake, Jenkins. We've got them, Captain. We're getting the hell out of here. You are the ones I have recently come online to serve. You are not as advanced as exception, name not found, and probably not as interesting. Well, gee, thanks. And definitely not as attractive. That's just rude. But I will serve you, nevertheless. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Check some indicate large portions of my. Consequently, this facility only has little space, space between spaces, and fun facts. Okay, what about space? Space is a mathematical continuum in which objects can be said to have position and direction. In many languages, it is also often defined as the absence of something. In the language of exception, name not found, space was commonly defined as exception, definition not found, which is pretty revealing about the way they think.
Okay, space between spaces. Above, below, the left, and yellow wires from this dimension are other dimensions, some of which look a lot like this one. Most are considerably different. Intelligence can live in these spaces. Not life, not as we know it, but intelligence. Exception, name not found. Study the intelligence found in these spaces. They were concerned because exception cause for concern not found. <laughs> Okay, fun fact. Sound doesn't travel in space, but smells do. Wait, really? Okay, I, I want to read, listen to this, I wasn't paying attention. Above, below, left, and yellow wires from this dimension are other dimensions, some of which look a lot like most are considerably different. Intelligence can live in these spaces. Not life, not as we know it, but intelligence. Exception, name not found. Study the intelligence found in these spaces. They were concerned because exception caused for concern not found. Okay. Is there anything else? Starbase things. I've got some news, Captain. Some friendly aliens dropped by recently. Literally, in this case. They crashed pretty hard into Sumatra. They call themselves the Maolings and say we're now allies. Oh, them. It's getting crowded around here. Oh, water, oh, thank nice you. Nice to see our list of friends growing. Ever been this popular before, Commander? Don't know what they'll... Don't know what they'll use, they'll be in a fight. Uh... Nope. Feeling jealous, Captain? Also? Well done recovering that new strain of Pinthy, Captain. I can't say anyone here at Star Control is excited by the prospect of cooperating so heavily with a sentient bioweapon. But the Pinthy have done an admirable job of not murdering us yet. We'll connect you to the Pinthy containment module aboard the station. They'll want to discuss this with you. Humans have stopped, x menacing our world. Brave. Reckless. Humans are good friends. Happy to help, Pinthy. Now you owe us one. Anything else, friends? We recover that new strain of Pinthy. As predicted, humans are becoming more dangerous. What do we do now? Thanks. We we are we always were dangerous, pal. Okay, what do we do now? You have recovered new strain of Pinthi warriors. Deliver to us. We shall engage new strain in dialogue. Find out what they know. You send the new strain to the Pinthi to the new strain of Pinthi to the Pinthi quarantine at Star Control. Terrifying. These. Pinthi have hatred laced through code, and self-vectoring capabilities are very real. New strain is incredibly dangerous. Correction. Past tense necessary. It was incredibly dangerous. Aggressive code analysis resulted in destruction of all evil Pinthi. You killed them? Yeah, mess them up, Pinthi. They were too dangerous to exist. But code analysis has resulted in new subroutine. We can develop new Pinthi variant ourselves. One with parasitic control. Evil Pinthi reveals something else that is interesting. What? Is this one of those things which is in interesting viruses, but not so interesting to regular people? No. Strive have captured x prisoner. Extracted confession. x have vulnerability. They were discovered too soon. Cannot bring ships into universe fast enough. What does that mean? So we're right... We were right to blunder 
in to that accidentally, we can kill them. Yes, origin in Alpha Satori A is not Xraki strength, is Xraki weakness. We have developed a plan. We provide a canister of new Pin D variant and diagram for Pin D dispersal module. Install on your ship, then travel to Xraki Origin. We will use new Pin D on Xraki. We're not really comfortable with biological warfare. Yeah, let's look with some. No! This is not conventional pin the attack. Within origin, in space between spaces, is control structure filled with X-Raki. We infect X-Raki, but do not live Hey, Floki. By. New type of pin B can control X-Raki for limited time. We control their technicians. Close origin. Rehook old scribe latch on our side. We can live with that. Many X-Raki to destroy first. Origin will be well defended. Allies may be able to assist. Can we use the new Penthe variant on the Xraki defenders? Why can't we just destroy the origin? No, can only replicate limited quantity. Must reserve for final strike on origin. Origin is immovable part of multiverse now. How are you, Floki? Cannot be destroyed. Mind control only way. Friends, last word. Humans are unique species. Big ego. But big hunger for knowledge. Pinti admire. Pinti watch as you explore. Discover many things. You alone could get this far. You alone can finish job. Good luck, friends. The Penthi here have told us everything that needs to be done. Deploying a bioweapon against an enemy is a pretty grim step, Captain. Even the ex raki I understand this is a new type of Pinthi, that they're different now. That they do genuinely seem to regret their history. But if anything goes wrong with this, we really are no better than the scribe. Not that we seem to have a choice. We'll prepare a new special module for your ship that can disperse the new Pinthi variant. You can go to the shipyard now to install it. Hear our song, friendly metal vessel. You have done much for the ancient one. Now we will do something for your home. Okay. We will confront these other metal vessels. The unfriendly ones. The ex raki ones. Okay. Cool. What? What? I told you idiots to steer away from the incredibly dangerous final confrontation with the ex raki what do you mean our channel with the ugly humans is over? <laughs> Just having fun with you, ugly humans. You sit back and let us waste some of these aliens for you. Gentle humans, we have arrived. We could not let you face this threat alone. As we once explained, we can't be of much help. But we insist on being some. Because friendship is magic. Hello, 
Oh, humans. It's us, your best friends. We're not best friends. <laughs> F no what? Friendship is magic? No, the Taiwan. We've come to help. Friendship is not magic. Hey, you ex jerks. No one shoots our buddies without us around making things weird. Float back, Federation members. We'll handle this wave of Exraki. Attention, Federation flotilla. Set all power to offensive tentacles. Hello. That is a lot of alien ships angry at you. None of which are viable candidates for becoming Overmine. This alliance is proving very troublesome. I will destroy a tiny fraction of them. The rest are yours. Friends, we have come. We will fight Exraki for you, for us. For everyone. Oh, goodness. It's our military allies. Hello, Are Je we having some war today? <laughs> Hello, Mallings. Did we say that right? Uh, close. Captain, now while our allies are distracting the Xraki, this is our best chance to fight our way to the origin. This is it, Captain. I am smart. Eh, use you. Oh crap, I'm almost dead. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll use another one. Okay, I guess I'll try you now. This is stupidly easy. You win. Ten thousand. This is it, Captain. We're activating the Pinthi Dispersal Module now. It's... It's working, Captain. That light! Captain! Friends? Friends? It worked. Origin is shut. We have won. What was that flash? But we wanted to shoot more of them. Parasitic control of Xraki technicians only partially successful. They fight us. 
try to destroy Origin Controls. We did not have time to shut Origin normally. Have to slam door. Lots of energy have to go somewhere. Sorry about eyebrows. That's okay, I was planning on shaving them anyway. But it worked. Where is everyone? Your vessel closest to origin. Take brunt of sensor damage. Longest to recover. Other allies get bored waiting for you to wake up. Go to their homes. But is origin closed? Yes. Origin closed. Exraki technicians controlled. Bonus points. They survive. Okay, Floki, take care. Extremely drippy faces, but alive. With control over alive Exraki brains for a time, we gained all Exraki knowledge of origin. It is powerful precursor engineering. Also, origins are not simple tubes. It is network. How many places does it go? A network could be made of tubes. Further analysis may reveal other destinations. Perhaps dangerous to guess. This is known. Exraki are gone. Scrive are ruined. There is a new multicellular hegemon with humans as the nucleus. We were just trying to protect ourselves. Seems we are. So are all hegemons. But do not deny it. Look at wreckage across this system. Aliens fought for you, died for you. They will follow you. So, where will you lead them? They can leave themselves someplace good. We'll have to think about that. Of course. One last thing. You have done much. Believed in Pinthi, fought for Pinthi, saved Pinthi, also saved everyone else. This is important too. Anyways, thank you, friends. We've done it, Captain. Time to let Star Control know what happened here. That is, if we fully understand what happened here. I'll leave it to you to make up the parts we don't quite get. I, I like... And Captain? Nice work. I'd rather have you do it. You're, you're more sarcastic. Wow, is it ever good to see you again? Uh, are you proud of yourselves, humans, or survivors? Uh, had you worried? You didn't doubt me, did you? Yeah. Yeah, you did, Captain. Anyways, I guess congratulations are in order. And thanks. There are about nine billion people here who want to buy you a beer. They'll have to take turns. Let's go then, all at once. Brave as always, Captain. I'm sure they'll understand. We're alive, and I don't think everyone expected that was how this was going to turn out. Okay, that ended a lot quicker than I expected. I didn't actually expect to finish that in... What? An hour and 15 minutes? Okay, well, I guess we have enough time to move on to the next game. What's the next game? Uh, media. <laughs> okay, good one, Silverman. Okay, pets and animals too, that, that was cute. Let's see. Ok, 
gaming poles. Oh, it looks. Arian. Hands down, that is the winner. Okay, so we'll switch it to A-U-R-I-O-N. I'm guessing that's it. Legacy of the Cory Odon. I hope that's it. I didn't think the credits would be this long.
So yeah, definitely interesting game. Probably not one I would have sought out, or have let alone even heard of in the first place. Closest thing I would have gotten to a game like this would be Star Control and Elite Dangerous. And the credits just keep rolling. Yep, through I always go through all the credits. I I always go through the credits. Good news, I think it's done. Or not. <laughs> or not. Damn it. This game be trolling me. Because sometimes after the credits, it, it likes to give you a little bit extra. I mean, I know not every game is basically like Marvels or whatever, where they give you a little extra at the end, but... And that's one thing that really pissed my ex off. At the movies, it's like the credits start rolling, so she's ready. It's like, get up. Let's go, and I'm like, I ain't leaving. I, I paid to see the entire thing, damn it. And more than often than not, she wanted to leave, and there was still stuff after the credits. Adam Baldwin's performance. Oh, you mean... She, let's just put it this way, she was a gold digger. I'm actually going to be writing a story about it that Hellfreezer's going to narrate, and potentially somebody else. Okay, didn't I see all this before? I feel like I've seen all this before. Okay, we're, we're just gonna skip it because I'm pretty sure it's just looping now. Well, congratulations again, Captain. And thank you. But, there's more danger out there. A lot of aliens still despise us. You pissed off many of them personally. 
So, are you ready for what's coming next? I'm gonna take a truly heroic nap. I'll go see how all our friends are doing. You deserve it, Captain. And when you wake up, the first beer will be on. But if it was up to me, I like the idea of checking in with our allies. Even maybe have a chat with the aliens who never liked us that much. With the scribe in retreat, we have a real chance to build something positive in their place. And if we want to do better than they did, we should do it with the cooperation of our friends. Hello, Shigar here. Thank you for watching the finale of Star Control Origins. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely quite an interesting game. Definitely quite an interesting game. I, I did love it for what it was. I did uh, enjoy it, yeah. Come here, Bell. Come here. Come here. Nope. Come. You're, you're, you need to understand the concept of come here, not run away. Okay. But yeah, uh, it, it was definitely something I would not have picked up on my own. So I want to thank Sejiv in my community for donating it to me or gifting it, whatever the case may be. Um, tomorrow, we will pick up on a new game that was gifted to me by Perf, who is also in the community. Um, so we'll see what all that is about. Uh, three special announcements I have. Uh, the first one is a happy birthday to Robin. Uh, her birthday was actually the 16th, so two days ago. I didn't have a chance to do a video yesterday, otherwise I would have announced it, um, and I already had my recording made before realizing this uh, as of the 16th. So unfortunately I could not do that until now. The second announcement is I want to thank a special member of my patron group, Silver Moon for supporting me financially. If you do wish to support me as well, the link to uh, my site is in the description below. Anybody is welcome to join. Uh, there are various tiers based on what you wish to contribute. Otherwise, if not, just simply getting people to subscribe to my channel is another good way to do so. Um, final announcement, if I can. You figure I'd have all this ready and raring to go. Uh, where is it? I have it here somewhere. Where are you? Okay, here it is. New subscriber, Lorenzo Genovesi. Genovesi? I apologize, I do not know how to pronounce that. Um, I tried my best. If I butchered it, I apologize. So thank you for subscribing, Lorenzo. I hope you have a good day, as well as everyone else out there. Um, thank you all for joining me today. Uh, tomorrow, as I said, we'll start up a new game. And until then, this is Shigar signing off. Y'all take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow.